and we'll go back to Val, see what he has. And uh, Val, uh, the home is, it's kind of a scary looking shot with the smoke in behind it. I hope they're not there. Hopefully this fire will miss them. Val, what do you think now? As you're uh, just east of I-35, just north of Waterloo uh, with the fire. How close to, I can see the smoke obviously, but uh, how close is it and is it moving? Here we go. All right, Val, this guy's going into his home. He's running into his home, yes, so obviously. Know him. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's a personal friend of ours. I got an incredible story here. Uh, by the way, the house, we busted through the black smoke. That house is going up in flames right now for sure. Um, but so we ran into a friend, a boy, I'm 20 years old, 21 years old, from our church in Stillwater. They go to our church. Their whole family goes to our church. Uh, he came driving up next to us and say, hey, we live right down here. I can't get in. So we drove in with him. And uh, he said, I don't know if my house is burned down or not. Uh, his dad is also behind a roadblock right now trying to make his way through. So we, we drove him up to his house, and a miracle. His house is still standing. But, David, there's houses across the street on both sides of him, on three sides of him that are burned down. Uh, but his house is, is perfectly fine. He had to park his, his car down the road. He jumped in the truck with us. Uh, we took him through the smoke and down to his house. Everything is fine. There's there's nobody here at his house. Everybody got out. But on three sides of him, all their neighbors are burned down. Sad situation over here. But uh, a good story right here. Back to you. Okay, so Val, let me ask you a question. Is there any risk of the fire coming through the trees? Or obviously if an ember hits his house, we hope that doesn't happen, obviously. But that's one of the outliers here. But uh, is there any risk of the fire coming through the trees and hitting his house? Are, are you that close? Yes, there's always a risk, David. There's there's a there's a house on fire about 120 yards straight west of us right now. A house on fire 120 yards straight west uh, that is still burning. So as long as that wind keeps up from the west, there is still a risk here with embers. I mean, we talk about embers. We've been seeing embers all day long. Um, so the deal is, is his dad, we're going to go try to find his dad and try to get his dad uh, through the roadblock here to get back over here, but I'm definitely not going to leave him here in the house. Back to you. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Val is always going above and beyond helping this guy, which he knows, but still, Val would have done it anyway to get to his house, take him through the roadblocks because Val can get through the roadblocks and drop him off. His house is fine for now, uh, but you can see his property. We have a little bit of some flame here burning. I don't like to see that on the property. This house is gone. And uh, this house across the street's gone. So, Val, like you said, um, to the west, uh, there's to the west, I assume. Yeah, that's to the, what, what direction are we looking there? Is that to the south? That is looking south, David. Yeah. That is another friend of ours uh, that just moved out of here about six months ago and sold their house and moved to Stillwater. Uh, and we know them, too, per personal friends from our church. And this was their house right there. Wow. I mean, that's horrible. I mean, there's nothing left. There is absolutely, you know, with a tornado, it's bad, it's horrible, but you can find some belongings. Not with a fire. Doesn't get any worse than that. It's gone. All the memories, whatever you got, it's gone. And, uh, boy, that's not good. Okay, this is, again, the largest...